Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the Pandas package on your Visual Studio Code editor and run a Pandas script using the pip package which you will install for Pandas. So right now I have this Visual Studio Code editor opened and here I have this sample project open which doesn't contain any script. So let's create a very simple Pandas script. I'm going to just create a file here which I name it as test.py and here I'm going to paste a very simple pandas code. Now when I uh, want to run this code, it's going to show me an error. You can see the squiggly line on top of this pandas package and it says import pandas could not be resolved from the source. The problem here is we haven't installed the pandas package and that's why it's showing me this error. So let's see how we can solve this problem. So I'm going to open the terminal. I'm going to click on terminal and then click on new terminal. And then let's uh, first of all create a virtual environment and then we are going to install the pandas package. The advantage of creating the virtual environment is that the pandas package will only be installed in your virtual environment and not globally on your Mac operating system. So you can create different project with different Pandas version at the later stage also. So to create a virtual environment, you just need to type uh, Python and then press tab, which is going to uh, show you some kind of suggestions, right? So in my case, my uh, Python script runs with Python 3 and I also have Python 3.12. So I can use either Python 3 or Python 3.12. In your case, you might have the different version of Python. So you will see all the hints which uh, are related to Python just below your commands. So I'm going to use the Python 3 in my case, but whatever Python version you have, you can use that. After Python 3, I'm going to write space hyphen M and then write VNV and then write the name of your virtual environment. In my case, I'm going to name it as env. You can name it anything, right? You can name it my package or my env or anything. So I'm going to name it as env and then press enter, which is going to create this virtual env. Once this virtual env is created, you can see this directory is created with the name env. And here you will find few other directories also, you will see that at the bottom of your Visual Studio code, you will see that the environment will be changed to the new env, uh, environment, which have the name env in my case. You can switch between these environment using uh, uh, this down menu here. I'm going to choose the virtual environment, which I have created. Now, we have just created the virtual env, but we also need to activate it before installing any third party package. So to activate a virtual env, we need to write this command, which is source. So just write source command and then space your environment name. In my case, it's env here. So whatever directory name you will see here, we need to call that name. We need to basically call this script, which is under env. There will be a bin directory and then we need to call the activate uh, script. So n forward slash bin forward slash activate and then press enter and then it's going to activate your virtual environment. Once the virtual environment is activated, you will see this kind of n in front of your command line. Once the virtual environment is activated, we can install the pandas package. To install the pandas package, the process is simple. Just type pip here and then press tab key to auto complete. So when you press tab key, you can see different uh, versions of pip you can use to install the packages. I can use pip, pip3 and pip3.12. I'm going to use pip3 here because for creating my virtual environment, I have used the Python3 command. So I'm going to just give pip3 install and the name of the package, which is pandas in my case and then press enter it's going to install this pandas package and after a few seconds once the pandas package is installed you can see this squiggly line is gone from the pandas 
and once the package is installed i will be able to run this script without any error so let me clear the terminal just write clear here and then press enter and to run your code i'm going to once again use the python 3 command it depends on what uh, python version you have just use that then the name of the script which is test.py in my case and then i'm going to press enter and it's going to run my pandas script and you can see my panda script ran and it shows me different data frames and then uh, all the columns related to this right so this is how you can uh, install pandas with your visual studio code and run your panda script inside your visual studio code on your mac operating system I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.